Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. Today we're going to look at how to create your own blog or website using jQL. So this is actually what I use for my own uh, website, the codingflamingo.com, and we're actually going to go through with the template I used and everything I used. And like in here, you can always find my video playlists. You can go straight to my YouTube channel. You can also check my blog. So a lot of the videos I create, they have a write-up uh, blog section if you prefer reading instead of watching. Um, so I'm gonna go through all of it, how I started, how I go through everything. So we start with the installation. So first you have to install this in your machine. Uh, so you go to the jcoolrb.com and the installation is very straightforward. So like if you have a Mac, you, you click each one you have. I have a window, so I just did this and click the installer and it was very straightforward and then you just have to build it and it's very very easy it took me like five minutes also if you already have a blog or a site that you're migrating they have a lot of importers so like it imports all your data and everything so this is one for wordpress but like there is for a lot of them for blogger even if you have it in a csv um any of them and it's still growing because just people write them for their sites and uh, share them open source um, so once you have everything installed in your machine, you, you go to themes. So you have to pick up a theme for your um, site and they have a lot of different free themes in this site. Um, so in here you can see all the ones and like most of them have like a live demo you can do and like you see how it looks and like most of them have blogs and so on. So. You, you, you have to go through and find one that kind of looks what you like, how you like it, and I mean colors and stuff you can change, but like the, the main uh, feel of the website. So if we go to this one, it might look familiar. It, it looks just like my site because this is the one that I use. So if we go here to the live demo, um, you can see that it's very similar. I changed some stuff. I removed the contact me stuff and I removed this. Um, I did keep the, you, you can find me here, um, and the blog looks very similar. Um, so I like this one, let's say I like this one. So then I go to their GitHub, and in here I, I actually just forked it to, to mine. Um, so if, if you see, if you see in mine, it's actually forked from um, what a theme. So it just adds that, so if you go here, you just click fork it'll add it to your re a new repo in your account and then from there you clone it into your machine and you just get it up and running so for this uh, video i just downloaded a, the zip file of it and as you can see the what a thing master and uh, i just wanted to go through kind of like the structure of how it works so in here you have the includes that these are kind of like the sub pages like the block card and and so on the contact information the footer head and so on and then in here you have the layouts these are for like the 404 page so in here you you can show what ever you want and you don't really have to know how to code it if you like the overall uh, look and feel like i actually didn't change much of the html i actually added comments to to my blog so people can comment so if you want to see how i did that please make sure to subscribe because that's going to be one of the upcoming videos uh, but other than that like it's important to see how it is like for example in here you can see that they do like for each post and then they do a blog card and .html um, and then it has all the information in it so like this is how they call the include parts of it so if you want to delete that, you can just delete this and it will delete the, the list of posts. And so you, it's a little how you modify the HTML and, so, and stuff. And then if you want to run it, you just do the bundle exec jqls. And this is going to run the website locally. I'm going to fast forward until it decides to go. So now it's running. So I'm just going to control click this. It's gonna open it here. So as you can see, this is the vanilla one. And if we want to modify it, because obviously I want, I want some real text. I don't want this. So we're gonna do slash admin. 
So in the admin pages, you can see that we have uh, like the index, and then we have so we have the different pages. So index, blog, 404, um, test page, and then in posts we have all the blog posts, and then there's a data file. So in here there is a pro project. Um, and then there is a static file, so here are the pictures. So if you want to upload new pictures, you can just upload them through here. No need to go to the folder and copy and paste them there. Um, so, and then there is a configuration, and you can s switch it to good. So if the, your base URL is different, you change it here. If you want to change the title of the page, you change it here to demo page. Then keywords, you change them to whatever you want. The favicon, so that's the little picture here. That one has to be a specific thing, but if you have a URL for it, you can go ahead and copy and paste it. Um, so for example, I have my Coding Flamingo URL one here, so I can just go ahead and copy this. Uh, the hero image is the big image. Um, so if we go here, and this is a way you can figure out which one it is. So this one is the big image of the site. So if we want to change that to, let's say, the big coding flamingo one, we can just, I have a blob storage that has it. So if, if we open this one up here, we'll see that it's just a big coding flamingo picture. So doing these little things, the email, this is going to change it so that contact me goes to your email. So. And, and same Facebook username, Twitter, you change all these to match your own. So if we save this, now we can see what effects it has on the site. So in here you can see now it says demo page, a demo site, it has a five icon. And if I go down here and you send, send email, you can see here at the bottom, left it says codingflamingo at gmail.com same github it, it goes straight to my github so it's very easy to modify it to to match whatever you want it to be so that that covers the the settings part now let's go to admin again so now let's look at like creating a post for example so here's a sample post that they create i'm just going to open a new tab and this one, if we view it, it's a sample post. It has different text and so on. So I'm just going to create a new one. So I'm just going to go post, new post, and then let's call it demo post. And in here, we're just going to copy some of the stuff that they have. So let's just go to the bottom and copy kind of, I don't know, their uh, GIF and YouTube and some text and let's just copy from here down just so it has some content and in here you s put a post image so in here once again you just put a URL for the image if it's a local image and it's in assets like in here you can see um, oh they actually put it but you, you could have it just in here just delete this I have assets and it should work um, but in here once again I have it in in the Azure blob storage so we're gonna put this description that's the thing that comes at the top so we're just gonna say this is a demo blog post tags is to make it easier to to search so you do demo and you add more tags test and so on. So you go ahead and, and create it. Um, and now we can go and, and view it and it'll be there. Yes, the coding flamingo image that I put, the test image didn't, didn't like it. And it has everything else. It has the comments uh, using Discus. Um, I don't like using Discus, so in the, in, in the next video I'm going to show how I did it without using that. And if we go to blog, yeah, it automatically adds it there. And if we go to the footer, it's the most recent post. So all that is done automatically. 
and that's how you do the site. Let's say you're done and you want to publish it. Um, if you have it in your GitHub repo, GitHub Pages is a great place to, to host it. So as you can see, this is how I host my own blog. Um, and so if we go down in settings and you go to GitHub Pages, you just enable it, you put in the uh, master branch, and then here I did a custom domain and I enforce HTTPS, but if we see my blog is just the, the, the regular thing, there is no build, no nothing, and it automatically knows how to run it and display it. So that's how you start your blog and host it for free in GitHub pages. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.